All right, so what is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Kaiba, back with another reaction video for you. We got Dragon's Dogma 2 creating a high fantasy open world dev interview. So this is actually the first time that I'm doing a reaction video before I'm doing a actual news video. I sat down after stream and uh, got ready to eat or whatever, and I saw that IGN put another dev interview up, this time of creating an open fantasy world or whatever. And I got my news pieces for the, for the news video that's going to go up and like, say like an hour or so from now but i wanted to get this one out first and then you can go check out the news video after you guys watch this reaction video so i haven't seen anything from it they dropped this 40 minutes ago i literally got off stream about 40 minutes ago then i ate and now i'm here doing this reaction video so without further ado let's get right into it <clears throat> hope y'all doing well also happy tuesday this game is so, so it looks so good, man. I've been playing Dragon's Dogma One. It's a story of many parallel worlds. I think I'm, I'm about to beat Dragon's Dogma One. In these parallel world, pawns interact with Arisen and other pawns. Oh, okay. So everybody's story is like unique. Okay. It's also just one of the parallel worlds within Dragon's Dogma. I'm not gonna read everything, but you know. That's why the story is cons a uh, constant rebirth that focuses around dragons or the elements of the world seen in the previous game have carried over to this one. Okay, so that's why rebirth is carrying over to this one. That said, it's a different parallel world, so some parts will be similar yet different. We've been careful to cr uh, create a high fantasy world that looks and feels like you would imagine a real life fantasy world to feel so when i play this game i'm gonna play like a like isekai or whatever <laughs> when i stream it it just looks so good also i can't wait to play this man i cannot wait european and, and north and northeastern that's what they said art director for the first dragon's dogma 10 years ago so this guy was art director 10 years ago we decided to carry over elements from the previous title. We couldn't just make massive changes, but we still had some changes to make. I mean, it looks amazing. So, of whatever changes they made or are going to make, I'm, I'm here for it. So the first game was so good. A high fantasy concept for this game. Art direction, Daigo Ikono's approach to referencing was unique. References was unique. Okay. We read the things like paintings and uh, depicted ancient history. A lot of simple things that felt distinctive. A classic fantasy game that's a style long enjoyed by many and we uh, started by trying to. So they wanted to make a fantasy game that was enjoyed by many. It was like the modern fantasy game or whatever. Classical painters and medieval art. Okay. Oh my gosh, that's the... They keep showing the fighter. Show the, show the archer, man. Where there's closer within the sight. Like, I can't wait to just explore, bro. That's going to be like the best thing to do in this game is explore. Because I get, I just like explore in the first one. I go off the beaten path all the time. Just trying to find chimeras and stuff to fight. That's what I do mostly. So he's talking about how you can just you can go anywhere. If you see it, you can go there. Graphics now look quite realistic, and I'm I'm loving that. <laughs> That's what I'm looking forward to the most. Yo, I've been tossing uh, people off of cliffs. <laughs> Non-stop in my Dragon's Dogma Dark Racing playthrough. Last night, I was just tossing everybody off of cliffs. It was so fun. Scary attraction in uh, Osaka where you can walk around the edges of something. Teach everyone or have them consciously experience. 
The kinds of terrain and views that move people emotionally. Okay. So he wants to, he wants them to feel like they're inside the fantasy world when they're playing the game. I feel like I'm going to be like that because I'm creating me a half elf main character. <clears throat> I can't wait, bro. Based on the half beast protagonist of an old arcade fighting game called Red Earth. Oh, so that's what they based the, uh, the beast trends off of. I've never heard of that game before. Okay. The fiction they refer was a little too difficult at the time. An open world game, and so we gave up on the beast ring due to difficulty of creating them. Oh, so they're talking about how they gave up on the beast ring in the first game, and now they're putting them in the second game? Yeah, it's possible Dex later thanks to technology like RE Engine. Okay, so they wanted to put like the beast ring and the elves and stuff in the first game, but they couldn't because of technology limits, which makes sense. But this RE Engine, that's. Our E engine is so dope, bro. He got so many cool games running on that. Resident Evil games, Monster Hunter games. I think Street Fighters in RE? Not too sure. Coaches and lifestyles that would, we will create. Okay. The land they can live on each different as well. So I thought comprehensively. So they actually put a lot into this game. Thinking about where their characters come from and everything, that's pretty cool. Interesting. We ended with the... Mm -hmm. A foreign feeling nation inside of the game. Different world whether that's uh, differently colored land, the weather or terrain, I guess that's what that said. Or religion. <laughs> okay. To bring the mind to any specific country, I think we did a good job. Look at happier players feel the same way. I just, I can't wait to play this game, dude. This game is my most anticipated game of 2024. And I can't tell you how much I want to play this game. I can't tell you how excited I am for this game, dude. Uh, every time they put out a developer diary like this, I just get so excited and I can't wait to do another video for you guys and just post up the things and whatnot. But most of these are actually doing pretty good. I think you guys like my reaction videos to these uh, Dragon's Dogma 2 dev interviews and to the gameplay reactions. So if you want more of this, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment down below if you guys want more and all of that good jazz. I'm going to go make that news video for you guys. So make sure you guys come back to the channel for that, which is going to be up in the next, like, 30 40 minutes um got to record everything i got my got my article pieces and everything already just got to record it make a thumbnail upload and we're good but thank y'all for watching this reaction video to the dragon's dogma 2 creating a high fantasy open world dev interview from ign and capcom make sure you guys stay easy be breezy i'll see you guys in the next video i'm your boy kaiba peace